I'm Sean Kantayashi with Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Schnauzers, and this little girl is Honey Honeybee. We have lots of adventures planned in this video, don't we? We are going ons and trips and play dates. Come along as we go to the vet, as we go into Philadelphia, and as some of these puppies have a big time play date. This is where Mocha will go. So I have put the car seat. It lifts him up quite nicely with a toy potty pad and ready to clip him in here in the front Honey seat. Bee will be able to be back here. She's a great little traveler. And I will put Larry and Sparkle into the top of my stroller. So I've got it all thought out here. I've got Clorox wipes. I've got pads. You might say, why do you do the the pads like this, well, just in case somebody throws up. Doesn't typically happen, but just in case it does, I've got my little cleanup insurance policy, we could call it. Hi, honeybee. You're going to the vet today. It's your annual vet visit. And Mocha, you're coming along for the ride. And the other two little ones, Larry and Sparkle, are getting their DHPP shots. And Larry will be going home to his new home soon. So we're doing his checkup and as well. here's what it looks like when I've put them all in their places. Honeybee will be just fine here. I don't know if you can see that Larry and Sparkle are there. And there's our little Mocha. And if I need to, I can very easily bring Honeybee up with me and put her with um, Mocha up front. I know someone's going to say, why isn't Honeybee clipped in in the same way that Mocha is in the front seat? Well, first off, Honeybee is an extremely good traveler. Secondly, I loaned my other car seat to someone recently so that they could test it out and they haven't returned it yet. And she needs to go to the vet today. Not because there's anything wrong. It's just her annual physical. This appointment has been scheduled for quite some time. Again, easy for me to move her from here to there if I need to. As I'm driving to the vet today, I thought I would share some musings with you. As a schnauzer breeder, I am an at-home schnauzer breeder, and I do this as a hobby because it's really fun for me, and I enjoy having a team, I enjoy leading a team, I enjoy the experience of getting to know many of you. Some of my newest, uh, bestest friends over the last couple of years have come from my YouTube channel. And so that's really great for me. I enjoy that immensely. But where I'm going with this is, I think we're all in some form of change or transition in our lives, right? So I went from being a person who was mom and running a business. So I have owned my own business or businesses since I have been in my 20s. And I have had experiences uh, intermittently where I have gone into organizations and run uh, departments, divisions, those kinds of things for periods of time uh, during my career. And so I really love leading. I love building teams. Uh, I help organizations build high-performing team cultures. That's really one of my primary missions in my life and in my work. So that's where I like to be and thrive. But um, where I'm going with this is we're all in some form of change, transition, life experience. So my son is old enough to really manage and lead his own life. He doesn't really need me to be in the day-to-day -day management and uh, directing of his life. He does a super good job of that on his own. And when he was a teenager or when he was a young child, he needed a lot more from me in terms of my ability to manage my schedule and navigate what he might need. But since he doesn't need that anymore, and since I am a very, very nurturing person, I love to have uh, someone, people, et cetera, to, to nurture in my life. And so my dogs really fulfill that need. I think most of us have a need for community. Hey, we're pack animals, just like our dogs are pack animals. Our, our dogs want community. They want 
people around them. They want potentially other dogs around them if you're not home with them all day. And so this idea that um, it's important to have a community around us, a community of people who enjoy and are curious about and want to learn together. And so that's a big part of my YouTube channel and why I'm doing dog breeding. I was doing dog breeding and I was uh, doing dog training actually more uh, long before I ever thought about having a YouTube channel. But um, just this this whole idea of a community, a pack around us. We're all, I think, in a transition of creating the right community around us, the right pack of people, pack of dogs, whatever that is for you, whatever that looks like for you. So I wanted to share my musings on this topic today because I, I really am grateful for all of you, those of you who are regularly commenting on my videos, those of you who I've gotten to know through YouTube, I am so grateful for all of you and um, just want you to really feel my sincere gratitude about that. As I'm driving my little doggies to the vet today and we are creating some other adventures with Mocha and let's see, we'll probably take Larry and probably our little sparker, sparkle girl, Sienna and Sierra, over to Kim's house for a puppy play date and you'll get to meet my golden retriever as well. So there's a lot of fun coming in this video. Stay tuned. Can't help but point out to you that even though we're in the car, we've been driving for about 10 minutes or so, everybody's calm and relaxed. Everybody's quiet. We're coming to a stop uh, traffic light here and not a peep out of anyone during our whole ride in the car. And because I said her name, she popped up a little bit from her bed, but she's been laying down in her bed as we've been driving. Not a peep. You can laugh at me if you want to for thinking about it like this, but it's a four traffic light drive to I'm the vet. Driving through what I think of as charming little Pennsylvania towns that are easy to navigate and we go really slowly as we are driving. We've just arrived at Quakertown Veterinary Clinic in Quakertown, Pennsylvania. I like to arrive a little early so that we are able to be in ease and flow as we take the doggies in and get ourselves settled. So I'm unclipping him and I'll get my stroller out. What I love about my stroller is how easy it is to operate. So I just lift it right out of here and put it into the base of the stroller. There's a lot going on today at Quakertown Vet Clinic and everybody here is being very good. Quiet, Larry. So we're teaching quiet when we need to. Yes, quiet. Yes, quiet. From where we're sitting at the moment, they can hear a cat meowing and they see lots of people and some other cute doggies. So everybody here is doing great. If they start to make any noise at all, I just say quiet. I get them quiet and then I say, yes, quiet. Yes, quiet, Mocha. Yes, quiet, Larry. Yes, quiet, Sparkle. And Miss Honeybee, she's always just so good to be with and quiet. And you can just take her anywhere and know that she will be really great. But this is why I like to arrive a little early. It gives me the opportunity to do a little training work with my puppy. Today, Sparkle is three pounds. What do you think that is? Three pounds, five ounces? Is that what we should call it? I believe so. Yeah, Sparkle, good girl. Yes. And here's Mr. Larry on the scale today. Larry weighs, it keeps bouncing back from five pounds, 15 ounces to, I saw a six pound there. Let's see, what is it going to stay at? Yeah, five pounds, 15 ounces for our little Mr. Larry here at the veterinarian office. Honeybee, let's see what you weigh here at the vet today. So at our vet, Honeybee weighs eight pounds, six ounces. I'm going to take her home and weigh her on my scale because sometimes I find that there's a difference. You're so curious, aren't you, Miss Honeybee? You're wanting to see everything that's here. I love your curiosity. Wait, and it's the exact same as last time. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Honeybee, you're doing very well, miss. 
Here's yes. Honeybee's little fecal sample. We've got fecal samples, so our puppies get uh, their annual checkup, which is what honey, Honeybee's doing today. And we've already done fecal samples on these two, and they are showing up glory. Now everyone is waiting for Dr. Savor to come in the room. Excited to see Dr. Savor, aren't we? Yes, we love Dr. Savor. He's so great. He's so friendly and kind. He's one of those kinds of veterinarians who will just sit on the floor and play with the puppies for a few minutes. And so we always love seeing him. Honeybee, that's a no. And look who's here, Mr. Mocha. Mocha's doing a great job of just being totally relaxed and quiet. And even while waiting, Mr. Mocha says, hmm, I think I'll just lay down and relax. Now, normally, if I had little puppies who had not yet had their DHPP series, I would not have them on the floor at the vet. They would stay in here. But we're in great shape. So these have already had three DHPP shots. We're just doing the insurance shot, if you will, today. What I mean by that is just that extra, making sure everybody's really great. So I, I feel quite confident all is well As here. part of their, we'll call it therapy dog prep training, I just stepped out of the room for a few minutes. Not a peep out of any of them. So I stepped out of the room. I went to the front desk and chit-chatted with some of the gals there, and not a peep out of any of these puppies. Although you can see, standing next to the door, curious about what's on the other side, because there's a dog on the other side of the door that has not been taught quiet. Yeah, there's a dog there that does not know to be quiet. So Dr. Savora was just saying how much we love that you sit on the floor with them and you play with them and say hello and you can see my dogs just love Dr. Savora. Yes, they're so adorable. They are fun. Really nice Honeybee says, I remember you. Yeah. Puppies. Yeah. Yeah, you got another good batch. Indeed. Yes. You're so cute. Good haircuts already, too. Yeah, little Mocha, who's laying there on the floor. We're training him to be a therapy dog, so he's not really here for an appointment today, but he's just here for the exposure and experience. I knew he would want to say hello. <laughs> so I love this. It's amazing to me that you sit on the floor with them and just examine them right there, Dr. Savor. That's phenomenal. So Larry is getting his special time with Dr. Savor. And Mocha says, hey, I think I'm going to come and uh, cuddle with you too. Okay, you're gonna get a dog. I will come get Mocha if you want me to. <laughs> Dr. Savor says, nope, you don't have to come get Mocha. We're all comfortable here. That's very sweet. Heart sounds really good. Puppy. All right. Good. Everything's in yep. place there. Everything's there. We always <laughs> love to hear that those yes. two testicles have descended. Mr. Savor, that was great, wasn't it? He did not make a peep with he his great. DHPP <laughs> shot. Good job, Larry. That's You're so guy. brave. We got honeybees, rabies updated, done, all is well. I love well. Quakertown Vet Hospital, and you two are part of the reason why. Thank you so much for treating my dog so well. Thanks. Folks at the front desk, oh my goodness, they're busy all the time. There's what it looks like to get the stroller back in, which is, it took me a little while to learn how to do that. So, can't help but uh, saying, now we're all wow. back in the car, and everybody will be asleep, most likely, before we get out of the parking lot here. Not a peep the whole way home even with the windshield wipers going. I love tulips. What a beautiful sign that spring is on its way. Look at the colors in these tulips. Taking a moment to smell the flowers, if you will. We've taken the opportunity today to lift up all the G flooring, clean it on both sides with bleach and water, deep cleaning, everything in our SVCC Schnauzer puppy play area. I think of this as our puppy prep school area and it is having a deep clean today. So I approached the gate here 
And as soon as I get the water bottle up, they're all quiet. They know quiet. Yes, quiet. Yes, quiet. And so they don't get released. Yeah, you, you're not going to get released from the gate unless you're quiet. So yes, quiet. Yes, quiet. Yes, quiet. Okay. I know you're a very pretty girl. And you say hello just like your mommy did. Yeah, your mommy is the same. So Godiva's mom is Coco. Coco Chanel. Yeah, your mom is Coco Chanel. Yeah. So this is Godiva's belly. It's a little close-up shot. These little pink nipples. Do you see how they're firming up? So even though she's only a couple of weeks pregnant, it's already showing. Now let me show you contrast that. Will you take Sienna here? Kim is here with me at the moment. Will you take Sienna? And you can see quite a difference. This is a dog that is not pregnant, so you can hardly see the nipple at all, and it's certainly not raised up in pink, whereas here with Godiva raised up pink nipple. That's the first way that you will be able to tell that a Little puppy, hmm. a little doggy, not a puppy, is pregnant. I'd like to show your belly too. Yes, yeah, she said, I want to show my yes, belly too. Your belly. So this is the belly of a puppy that is not pregnant. Yep, we showed your belly now too, girlfriend. Yeah. And just to really bring this alive for you, this is honeybee. So in other words, a dog who is not currently pregnant but has had puppies in the past. So notice the nipples are not at all pink. While they are raised up because she has had puppies before, the nipples are not pink like Godiva's when Godiva is pregnant. Yeah. It is a bright, sunshiny day, and we are just about to arrive in the city of Philadelphia. Off to the left there, right here, you can see the Philadelphia Art Museum, which is an amazing building. If you happen to be coming to the Philadelphia area sometime you and, and you like art, I highly recommend the Philadelphia Art Museum. It's that building right there. And of course you can see the skyline off in the distance too here as we are arriving in Philadelphia. I'm bringing you along to brunch in Philadelphia as well as a walk through a dog park. That's right, a city dog park coming up here just in a second. Toria Carina, lovely place to eat. And look at this, even sitting outdoors, just beautiful. Here's the menu hanging in the window. Tatoria Carina, look at how beautiful the decor is and being able to sit right there in the window huh, such a fun place so charming i love walking along the streets here in philadelphia and seeing the charming homes look at these beautiful old brownstones This is a great neighborhood in which to own a dog. And I regularly see dogs walking on the street here. So I just thought I'd share it with you so you can see how charming this area is. Oh, what a cutie. Hi. And here we are at the Schuylkill River Park. You can see what's around the park here. It's a very chilly day today, although it is bright and sunshiny. So it's nice to be out here at the Schuylkill River Park. A dog park. And you can see that I suspect dogs that live in these high-rise buildings around here really probably do appreciate being able to get out into the grass. I've noticed that they have this dog park divided off into sizes so that people with small dogs, this is their area, and people with larger dogs, this is their area. 
Hey, and look at that. There's some daffodils starting to come up. Oh my goodness, look at this cutie. What an adorable little one you are. Wow. Hi. This sign is interesting to me. Did you know the dog park is not funded by the city? This is what it looks like inside. The larger area for the big dogs. Seems to me like there are lots more of the smaller dogs here, but you can get a really good feel for this dog park. And you might be saying, why didn't you bring any of your dogs? And it, when I bring my dogs to places like this, I would have them in a stroller and they would not be running around with, but oh, aren't these fun? I love the cleverness of having the double gates. Okay, coming through. Come on, Benny, let's go. Benny is a beautiful golden retriever. Thank you. He's a pommy, he's but he a, makes too much noise sometimes. Oh, he makes a lot of noise? Oh yeah, he said enough stuff already today. Oh boy. <laughs> Got quite a few dachshunds here today. Look at this one. Hi. Coming over to say hi to me? Hello. Wow, I feel like I'm in a dachshund dog show here with all of these little dachshunds. I feel like we've got to definitely let more people know about our schnauzer puppies in this area. Although, again, I'm not sure that I would be recommending that schnauzer puppies be brought here. But wow, what a fun place. Seems like there's so many dachshunds here today. Is it a dachshund show going on? Yeah, it's a Facebook meetup for dachshunds. Oh, a Facebook meetup group for dachshunds. Isn't that a great idea? Jim and William and Caroline are being so patient with me as I am having lots of fun. Well, William, I can see why you suggested bringing me here today. What a fun place. Did you know that there is a Dachshund Facebook meetup group going on, which is why there are so many Dachshunds here at the moment? Yeah. Yeah, it was too much of a coincidence seeing all of those dachshunds. We knew it had to be something. This is the street that we walked down leading into the dog park here. You can see the skyline of Philadelphia buildings a little bit poking out. Hello! What a cute little liver, liver party. You've got two liver parties. Look at this window with these little origami birds. I think that they are twinkle lights at night with the origami birds. How interesting. All right, this is fun. I can't resist showing you this. So we've got a really fun bake shop here next to the grooming salon. Look at this, Liberty oh. Vet Pets, Veterinary Hospital and home visits. So if you live in this neighborhood in Philadelphia, this is probably the place that you bring your puppy. And look at how charming this is. Oh my goodness. How clever are they? Fun little window shop here for a veterinarian's office. And my son wants to go into this shop, Cork. Let's see what's happening in here. This looks like fun. Look at this 
these little dog glasses. I love the chirping of the birds as we're walking down the street. And just these charming little doorways. Look at the doorway in this house. Just amazing. Even the birds are loving the sunshine today. I love this. There are people out dancing in the park and they come and dance together and you can just join right in. Isn't that fun? I think that it's spring for these squirrels. They are very happily playing together. Yes. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. And here's a stand-up game of chess going on in the park. Look at this. These people are all out here playing chess together. Wow. Look at all these doggies. And a frog. <laughs> back to pick up our Burberry and all our little doggies that are staying here at Kim and Craig's. They've been here for the afternoon having lots of fun and we're gonna pick them up right now. The nice thing about living here in this house is they have so much space that having seven of our dogs it's just fine. Hi, Wallace. How's my boy, Wallace? Yes. Hi, Wallace. All the little schnauzers. Hi, Nestle. Hi, Godiva. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, we see you. My little mommy. Yes, you have those babies in you. I'm taking care of those Godiva, babies. Godiva, are you doing well? Crazy. Miss little Godiva who's pregnant right now? Yeah? Yeah? What a fun puppy play date they have had today. Where's your bone? Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Go get your toy. Go get your toy. Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Where's it? He says, I have lots of toys, and they're just hanging out around me, all wanting to play with me, all these little toys, aren't they, Wallace? Wallace says, I have lots of little toy schnauzers that want to play with me regularly. Wallace is very good about sharing his toys and watching golf, of course. If you've enjoyed this schnauzer adventure with us, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We always love your comments. Thanks for coming along on our schnauzer adventures.